Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of the Flask vlog tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an admin page for your Flask blog and also how to set up your post and query them from the database. So this one's going to be a fun video. So also I found an issue in the last video that I forgot to do is that we have to add another column to the post uh, table or the model. So what I did was just I have to go to the PHP mod and I have to drop this, drop this table that means I have to delete this. So once I've deleted this now I have to make a new column which is going to be called the slug. So what is a slug? Slug is basically for example if you go to the website so website uh, dot com slash post now we can identify a post by its id so whenever i type this url the server will query the database and find the post that has this specific id but another way to recognize a post is by adding a slug for example post one so the name of the post are the slug so this is called the slug so it makes the URL a bit more meaningful and almost all blogs use a slug system instead of recognizing a post or a page by its ID so that's what we are going to be doing so let me add the slug is going to be the same as this so db.column db.string and now let's stop and run python 3 and now let's do from app import db db dot create sorry create all and bam we have finished it now if we go to php my admin now as you can see the posts table is over here and we have the subtitle content date posted and the slug so that's what we need to do now let's run the uh, server so now what we are going to be doing is integrating the admin page and flask has really good third-party module that uh, Makes you an admin page by default. I uh, was called flask admin. So it's a pretty nifty module and It basically creates really good looking pages using bootstrap 3 and If you don't want to waste your time making your own admin page querying your database and like make your own CMS if you don't want to do that uh, you can use flask admin which basically does all this stuff for you so personally I use flask admin for making uh, like websites that require posts or an admin page so I always use it so at first we're going to be uh, installing flask admin so I'm using pip3 install flask admin sorry admin now if you're on windows terminal or the command prompt you can use pip but i'm using pip3 since i'm on the ubuntu terminal so pip3 install flask admin and i think i already have it installed or do i uh i don't think so so uh once uh let's just wait for it to install and then go to the code and now we're going to be doing from flask admin import admin okay Oh, sorry, admin. Now do from flask admin dot contrib dot dot sqla since we're using SQL Alchemy, so SQL and A for Alchemy. Import model view. So this is going to be basically viewing all of the data in our table. So now what we need to do is make an admin object, which is going to be the admin app and also we need to add a secret key because a secret key without a secret key you cannot use sessions or just put i uh, use database sessions or query or like put data in the database without a secret key so we need to do app.config dot uh, un underscore secret key it's going to be anything you want like my secret key which is supposed to be secret but it's not secret use whatever you want now we're going to be adding a model view so a model view is basically going to be uh, destroying all of our data so admin dot dot add 
view and it's going to be model view now we're going to be putting the name of our like the table or the model and then we're going to be using the session so db.session so the session of our database now if we run the app python app.py now if you run it and go to the like the blog page and slash admin go over here as you can see it made a really cool looking admin page and if you go to the posts as you can see we have the title the subtitle the content author date posted and the slug so this is pretty nifty it doesn't look bad and you can create posts or like add new records to the table with this create and it it isn't showing the id because the id is the primary key and it's just using the primary key for listing everything so it's not necessary since we are going to be using slugs so now let's go and create and let's call it test post one i've already tested this so to make sure it, it works so this is a test post and the content is going to be welcome to the first test post i'm going to be the author and the date posted is going to be to this date and then the slug is going to be test post one how about that now let's save it as you can see record was successfully created it's showing this over here now if you refresh php my admin and wait is the server even running my php server oh apache is a bit messed up okay as you can see the test post one is over here so id one title test post one and it's all working properly now uh, we can also create another post let's name it test post two and subtitle uh second test post and the content is going to welcome to test post two and author i'm going to be the author and the date posted let's today slug is going to be test post two let's save it now we can delete something by clicking this and it's going to be uh asking me if i want to delete this record for now i'm not going to be doing that now we can select things and then the width selected i can delete or do something else so let's unselect them and close this down so now if we go to the page uh the home page it's still not there because we need to configure it and i want to access data from the database when i go to the post page since it's just a template by space ipsum so what I want to do now is go to the post route and then query the post and for that let me just uh, use the slug so a new sub route and the slug is going to be a string now this is going to be called the slug and since we have it over here we need to take it as the argument and now uh, post equals to post name of our model dot query so we are querying from the database dot filter by and this is going to be the slug equals to slug and then dot one because we only want to fetch one of them now we go to the post dot html and pass in the post as the argument this post so once we pass that now if we refresh it's not showing anything since we haven't used it in Jinja 2 so let's go to the post.html and now let's start with the fun stuff. So we are going to be changing the title. So it's going to be a post.title. We're using post since the name of the post, uh, the parameter is post. So post.title and then this is going to be the post.subtitle. Oh, subtitle. And then posted by, this is going to be the author so let's do post.author and now let's post.date posted and now let's talk about the content so the content is over here I guess I can delete all of this since we are going to be using our own content and yeah let's do this I'm going to be making a paragraph tag and then putting all the content over here so post.content and we're using safe uh, with this because if we put custom HTML inside the content it's it can render it's going to be rendering that HTML so let's save refresh oh sorry post slash test post one so let's 
are refreshed again. And yeah, it's doing a test post once is a test post. Welcome to the first test post. But the problem is over here that it's literally just printing out all the dates. But when you go to the home page, as you can see, it has the date written beautifully like September 24, 2019. So how do you do that? Well, we have to format the date. Why did I open Audacity there? Uh, so we have to open the date. Is it recording? Yeah, it's recording. So we have to oh, format the date. So this is the date time object. So strf time. And now we need to use a string. So percentage capital B for the month name and percentage D and then percentage capital Y. Hope it works. Yeah, it's working perfectly. So August 28, uh, 2020. So this is how you work the post. And now if I go to test post two, since I made a second post, it's doing this, welcome to test post two. Now the problem is that if I type in the slug of something that doesn't exist, it's gonna be raising an error that sqlalchemy.orm.exec no result found. So to fix that, what I can do is go to app.py and since the error is a SQL Alchemy error, we need to import SQL Alchemy. So import SQL Alchemy. And since we have a Flash SQL Alchemy installed, it installs the normal SQL Alchemy by default. So we don't have to worry about installing SQL Alchemy again. So now the error was a SQL Alchemy dot dot exit dot no result found. So we can put it in a try accept and then indent it. And now except we're only accepting this specific error. Now we are going to be aborting with 404. Now abort is a special uh, function in Flask and abort basically allows you to raise an error, for example a 404 error and error 404 means it's not found. So we can raise something like that. Now if we go to the test post 2, it's working well and server is starting up. It restarted. Now if we go to something like this, it's gonna be raising a not found error because error code 404 means not found. So this is how we can do this. So yeah, we can now go to post and if I go sample post, yeah, it's going to be making a not found since we don't have the slug over here. So for that, I'm going to be removing the sample post from all of these. So save it and go to the top Save this, go to contact, save this, go to about, and save this. Let's close out all of them. And now refresh. Oh, sorry, the route's not here. So, we don't have the sample post over here. We have clean blog, uh, this is the uh, template basically. And now let's go to the post one slash post slash test post one so it's working perfectly now what we can do over here is that ah yeah i forgot i need to uh, put the list of all of the posts in the home page because these are not working over here so i'm not going to be using any pagination so i'm going to be removing this button uh, from here and go to the where was the button so this is the button uh yeah this is the dev refresh button is not here nice so let's now uh put the list of all the posts so whenever i go to the home page i want to query all of the posts from the database so posts uh not post it's posts list of posts but nest plural now this is going to be a class post dot query dot all now we're uh, giving an arguments posts equal to post this post. Now let's go to index.html and let's just delete all of these. Yeah, so let's just delete them. And once I go to HR, done. So I can go over here. Yeah, it's only one post. So we are going to be using that and we're going to be iterating and looping through all of the posts in that post list that we just queried. So. <clears throat> Let's make a Jinji2 for a loop, so percentage percentage for uh not I let's do post in in post and then do end for 
and four. How about that? So now let's do now let's print out the slug of the post. So slash post uh, slash post slash and plus post dot slug. So we're using this post dot slug and we're just adding the string so it redirects to the post. Now do post dot title and now we can do post dot subtitle post dot subtitle posted by it's the post dot author author and let's do the date so post dot date posted and let's copy that post thingy that we did yeah don't miss your time copy this paste it over here bam let's refresh as you can see all the posts are over here so this is pretty awesome and if we add a new post uh, by going to the admin page <clears throat> sorry about that uh, if we add a new post so a meaningful post a meaningful post now let's go to ipsum.com and let's copy some alorum ipsum things so Let's copy some. Yeah. And a meaningful post that is not meaningful. <clears throat> meaningful. How about that? So I'm just trying to mess mess around. And author is going to be me again. And then date posted. Apply. Slug is going to be a meaningful post. Save that. Now, if you go to the home page, as you can see, the post is over here. A meaningful post, a meaningful post that's not meaningful. If you click over here, it will take me to the post page, which is pretty damn awesome. So now we can go over here and the about page, we're not going to be doing anything here since it's just a static page. There's nothing dynamic over here. So yeah, this is basically the blog you can now go to the contact and the contact doesn't actually do anything so with the next video I'm going to be showing you guys how to secure the admin page because right now almost like everybody can go to your admin page and change things so I'm going to be showing you guys how to secure your admin page with a login system so only the people who have authorization who know the username and password for the admin access can use this admin page so I'm going to be doing that and also I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the contact me page so to send email so users can uh, contact you or get in touch with you so I'm gonna be showing you that so I hope you enjoyed this video and you guys can now make your own simple blog but also I'm going to be showing you how to secure things and a few extra tips in the next video so I hope you enjoyed it and if you did be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video also share it with your friends and family who are interested in uh, web development in Python and I'm gonna be seeing you guys next time so peace out